Hey, it's Keku, and I know this video is gonna be sounding weird by the title, but just, just, just hang on, all right? Today we're gonna be talking about what quarantine has taught me about eye contact with everyone. This video is gonna be mostly about girls, but mostly about uh, just eye contact and importance, importance of general of like sub communication. So, what I think like quarantine has taught me about eye contact and just girls in general. I mean. I feel like there's like little sub communications in like in, in our society that we don't talk about. I think I think I've seen people talk about call it like the the unspoken rules of society or some shit like that. Some stereotypical like medieval fucking shit like that. Just like kind of like oh yeah, sub communication, eye contact, you know, body language and like stuff like that. And uh, I think that I think I've like I think I've narrowed it down to how you can tell Because I think when I used to talk to people not just girls but people in general I didn't get certain social cues back then or stuff like that, but but now like And since we're in quarantine everyone's wearing masks everyone is basically quarantined inside No one is talking to each other as often we can't get close to each other as often I'm really starting to notice sub communications because more Subcommunication levels because when you think about it eye contact is the only thing we can see on the person's face now sure we can see like the side of their cheeks and shit like that but we don't see anything else we only see their cheeks and their face that's a little bit of their face their eyes and their hair and some of their cheeks we don't see their mouth or their nose we don't see any of that we see their eyes and eye contact what that does even if it's for like seven seconds i only talk to people when i only make eye contact when i'm talking to people because it's a sign of respect and what i think it does is it shows confidence i think that the importance of eye contact i don't know it just shows that you're trustworthy and sometimes if you can like portray yourself of that kind of like spiritual energy i'm not trying to get it all spiritual young niggas but <laughs> i'm about to get spiritual but i feel like if you if you put a certain energy into this conversation, it will work out good for you. If you're trying to be a respectful man and you're having like an eye contact, which is like brave founder, uh, brave founder, masculine. If you want to keep that masculine energy, I just think that you need to have like good eye contact because what it does is sort of sign of respect. Because when I was scared of people, when I was like scared of people who would talk down to me and shit like that, I was scared of people, what people thought of me and shit like that. I'm not saying I'm like, I'm a complete robot now. I have no emotions, but I feel like I've I've learned to move past it a bit better. So what I think like quarantine has taught me about eye contact is that you must remain eye contact. Because even if like if you want to flirt with girls, I mean, if you don't make eye contact, it's gonna be coming off as like scary and like you're a pussy and shit like that. What, that that's just my opinion. I think that if you don't make eye contact, then it's just gonna be like, oh well, you're you're looking at the floor, you're trying to be confident. And trying to be flirty with a girl that you like and you're trying to talk to her, but you're not really like showing any that, that much confidence because looking at the floor. If you can't look a girl in her eyes and tell her like tell her how you feel or like tell her like what you want or just tell her how how like if you like how you guys are gonna get like like you guys wanna go on a date. If you like ask her and you're looking at the the floor, you're gonna like you're more most you're most likely to get rejected. And that's just like the heart to the reality because there's some dudes that do make eye contact and are more confident than you. There's always going to be people who are better than you in certain areas, but I just think you guys need to get over the fact that that you're perfect or that you're bad. And when this is the case, everyone is bad. Everyone has bad behaviors, including me. I'm an annoying piece of shit uh, all the time. This is kind of like my only scapegoat of the situation of like these nuts and fuck it, yeah. But it's just kind of like we all have behavioral traits that makes us good and bad people like my bad traits i'm an annoying as fuck off like youtube and shit like that and i'm i'm annoying as fuck when it comes to certain shit and you know i can't hold good conversations and that's because of my fault but what i think my good traits are that i have i can sustain youtube even though i don't upload like every fucking day like other youtubers i try to keep up maintaining like youtube even when i'm not inspired to do shit and i think this really just keeps me on track of doing stuff like that so I guess, yeah, that's one of my good traits. But also, I think that when it comes to this YouTube thing, you have to be confident to 
talk to yourself and any and anything that comes to online music i've learned how to become more confident my voice has changed my everything has changed about me and i think that's not i think that's not just because of puberty it's because i've learned certain behavioral traits and i've learned behavioral traits that made me more like mask when i started working out going to the gym i started talking to more people not just girls just talking to people in general um, I, I've met a lot of new new people through online means, and I've written stuff. I've written novels and shit like that. And my novel is basically fucking done now. Maybe like in an hour or so, I'll be uploading a new video about the original English line novel, or it might be before. I I have no idea, but yeah. So here's a, a quick summary of the video. Eye contact is important because I think it portrays confidence. I think it portrays trustworthiness. And I think it just portrays overall goodness. I think if you can make eye contact with anyone, that just shows you're trustworthy. It shows you're confident and you're trustworthy in what you say and what you say out. Because if you're nervous and you're not making eye contact, you don't believe what you say truly. Because being nervous isn't a good trait to have. It's normal, don't get me wrong. But if you're a man or a girl or whoever you are, you need to get over that shit. It's, it's okay to be shy and stuff like that, but you just need to know how to push past it. You know, you need to know how to get behind that behavior. At the end of the day, that's a behavioral trait. We all have certain behaviors. People don't have dating problems. They have personal problems that reflect in their dating. People don't have drug problems. They have personal problems that lead to drugs. So if you want to get over certain behavioral traits, then just be a better person and learn how to push past that and develop yourself as a person. I didn't want to make this a self advice video, but I guess I'm just going on a tangent now. Well, it's been your boy Keku, and I'm out. I'll see y'all later. I'm going to be uploading an original English Light Novel video soon. Updating you guys about everything and stuff like that. Peace.